in the previous lesson, we're going to talk about combining like terms. So say we had one of those distribution problems and we had two numbers by themselves. What do we do from there? How do we make um, these equations simpler? So when we have a question like number one, we have 12r plus 5 plus 3r minus 5. Our first step is to figure out which um, numbers and variables belong to the same family. So 12r, so anything with just an r added to it, those are part of the same family. And then numbers by themselves, and remember if there's a negative in front of it to keep it with there, we're going to put those by themselves. So in this case, we have 12r plus 3r. So I'm going to group my like terms together. And then 5 minus 5. So 12r plus 3r means we have 15rs. And then 5 minus 5 equals 0. So we can say plus 0, but we can simplify it even more to just 15r. And this next one, we have negative 4x and negative 10x. So they're both in the same family, so we can combine them. So then we just look at those, num those uh, numbers in front. So negative 4 minus 10 gives us negative 14x's. Always remember that variable at the end. All right, so this one's kind of a little bit of a tricky one because we're going to have to do some distribution with it. So negative 2n minus parentheses n minus 10n. So this is something we haven't come across before. It's We're distributing this negative number. When we have this negative number in front of the, or this negative sign in front of the parentheses, there is an invisible one there. So I always just add in that invisible one, so it just makes it a little easier for me to understand. So before we do any combining like terms, we've got to distribute. So negative 1 times 9 and negative 1 times negative 10. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, negative 2n. And then negative 1 times 9 gives us negative 9. And then negative 1 times negative 10n gives us positive 10n. So again, we're just distributing there, and whenever we have just a negative in front of parentheses, always add that invisible one. So now looking at this, we have negative 2n's and 10n's, and then we have negative 9. So I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have what I have underlined is negative 2n plus 10n. So negative 2 plus 10 will give me 8n's. And then that negative 9, we have nothing we can combine with that, so I'm just going to add it right to the end. So 8n minus 9 is our answer. Then let's look at this last one down here. So again, we need to distribute before we can do anything. So always just, and even if it makes it easier for you to break it down into smaller sections instead of looking at this big, long, huge problem, we can split it up into sections. So I'm going to take this up here. And I'm just going to look at this section right now. So negative 9, 6m minus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So negative 9 times 6 gives me negative 54ms. And then negative 9 times negative 3 gives me positive, because a negative times a negative is a positive, 27. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to write it down here. Or actually, I'm going to leave it right there. So I'm going to take this part, and I have 6, 1 plus 4m. Again, distributing 6 times 1 and 6 times 4m. So 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 times 4m is 24m. So now I have these two parts, and I'm going to combine them now with that plus sign in the middle. So I have negative 54m plus 27 plus this part right here, 6 plus 24m. So I have 54m and 24m. So those are like terms. Then we have 27 and 6 by themselves. So I can take it and look at my like terms. So I have the circled numbers. So negative 54m plus 
plus 24m. So negative 54 plus 24 um, gives me negative 30. And then I need to add my variable on, so never forget to have that variable. And then 27 plus 6 gives me positive 33. So I have negative 30m plus 33. So again, looking at that last problem, it might be a little intimidating because it is so long and there's a lot of distribution. Just break it up into sections. If this part is easier to look at at first, then just take that part. Then add in this part and then kind of break it down. It's okay if you, your, your work looks all crazy like this on the side. So go ahead. I want you to try some of these examples. So when we're looking at combining like terms, what we want to do each time is to identify which ones, which uh, variables or numbers belong to the same family. So let's look at the first um, number or variable in number five. We have n. So n's are going to be circles. And then what I'm going to do is look for any more n's in this equation, and I don't see any. So now I'm going to look for numbers by themselves, and I'm going to put a box around those. So we have negative 4 and negative 9. Um, remember to take the symbol in front of them. So if it's positive, take that plus sign with it, or if it's negative, take that negative sign with it. So then we have n, and there's no other n's to combine it with, so I'm just going to bring that n down. Then we need to combine negative 4 and negative 9. When we combine those, we get negative 13. So when we look at this and there's nothing else to combine, it's in the simplest form that we have. So n minus 13 is the answer. So let's look at number 6. Our first variable here, we have negative 2x. So I'm going to circle that. And I'm looking for anything else with the last name x because they belong to the same family. So I have positive 6x. And then we have 11 as a number by itself. So we have negative 2x plus 6x. So negative 2 plus 6 gives me positive 4 x. Remember to always write its last name with it, so we don't want to just write 4. We want to keep that x with it. And then we have positive 11. And again, from here, we can't combine these anymore because 4x and 11 do not belong to the same family. So we can't just say 4 plus 11 is 15. The answer is 15x because they don't belong to the same family. We cannot combine them any further. All right, and looking at number 7, we have n and we look through this and we have negative 5n as well. And then we look for numbers by themselves. We have positive 4 and negative 9. So let's look at the n's first. We have n, which this also has an invisible 1 in front of it. It's only 1n. So 1n minus 5n. would So 1 minus 5 gives us negative 4. And then we have to make sure it has its last name with it. And then we have 4 minus 9. 4 minus 9 will give us negative 5. So our answer for this one is negative 4n 